Hey everybody, I'm Matthew Cook and this is episode 100 of the Tactical Dad Podcast. 100, geez, I'm there already in just three three months, December, well, no, January, February, a little bit of December and it's the 9th of March. Geez, episode 100. In today's episode, we are going to talk tactical gear and tactical gear for civilians. So obviously tactical gear is a huge subject. And since our company, Charter Tactical, and our brand Second Day Men specialize in tactical gear, uh, it only makes sense that we talk about it. So there's so many products, we're not gonna talk about them all. I'm just gonna reference a few of these products, a few products that are helpful for civilian use, helpful as a civilian in sort of I wouldn't say everyday situations, some everyday, but not all. Like you don't go camping every day, you don't go on hikes and and trail walking every day. So I can't say that's every day, but might might be a weekly thing. However, I'm gonna talk about some tactical gear, some tactical products for civilians in in different uses like that, you know, personal protection, outdoor activities and, and such. So let's go personal protection first because a lot of people get into this sort of tactical world and tactical realm like I did for home defense, self-defense, protecting your family, children and and, you know your home, your castle and all of that. So let's talk about personal protection first. I'm going to reel off the first thing which is a gun, a firearm. Uh, Whether it's a rifle, shotgun or a pistol, most likely you're going to go with a pistol first because it's the small, the least intimidating although all guns are intimidating at first anyway. So firearm personal protection, a tactical piece of equipment. And let's let's actually define tactical gear. And this is my definition, really. Everyone's got their own sort of spin on it. But tactical gear is equipment and, I guess, gear and equipment that is designed and engineered specifically for high stress or high risk situations that could be life threatening. So you, you're gonna generally get gear that's made out of stronger materials, it's more durable, it lasts longer, it can it, it can just, it can take more of a punch, it can take a, a, a hammer in, you know, just like stronger stuff. Uh, not necessarily, te- not necessarily too technological. Uh, at times it might just be the type of, of nylon that is that the bag's made out of or the zippers that are used on the bag or the functionality of the belt. Um, So different things like that. It's not always about technology uh, from an electronic perspective. So we'll talk about personal protection first, a gun being number one, a firearm being number one. I'm not gonna go through different types of guns because I don't know all that much about specific guns. I'm not doing reviews, I don't do gun reviews because I'm not an expert in it. But that's, that's, Tactical gear number one, a firearm. What I can talk about and reference straight away right off the back of that is a gun belt. We sell gun belts, we got an an array of gun belts and uh, I very much know about the type of nylon and the strength and the, I guess, sort of the engineering behind the nylon and how the belt is made and how the, how the nylon and the stitching is all put together and woven. So a gun, a heavy duty tactical nylon gun belt is another piece of tactical gear uh, that a civilian could use, should use in my opinion, but not, not, I, I get not everybody wants a heavy duty belt. Although a lot of them can be quite comfortable. Like our, we have a, we have an EDC gun belt which is more of a dressier style belt that can go really well with a pair of jeans, a pair of khakis. It's not, it's not like a tactical style looking belt, although we do have tactical style looking belts. Uh, we have a more dressier style. So a heavy duty gun belt made out of quality nylon, 600 denier plus, so it's strong enough, rigid enough, stiff enough to uh, carry a holster, whether it's inside the waistband, outside the waistband, you know, you might be an, an appendix carry kind of person. Uh, you might just be an, um, you might just want to open carry. Like here in Georgia, you get a lot of people that just open carry because it's fine. Uh, you need a permit to conceal and carry. 
but you don't to at, at, at this current time of me talking you don't need a permit to open carry so that might be you either way you're gonna need a good belt to go with it so you got a gun a belt for personal protection and that that belt can also be holding a knife uh, you can put your phone on it, but it can be holding a knife, a multi-tool, a flashlight. Like, it's, it serves a bigger purpose with a better belt. So we got that. Then let's move into, like, outdoor activities. So you might go on, you might go hiking, you might go on trails, walking your dog. Um, that, actually, me mentioning walking your dog, that brought another product to mind. We have a tactical harness dog vest, so it's, like, Molly compatible, um, pretty cool, like, that would be another piece of, a, of tactical gear that would be helpful for not you, but for your pup and that could help you. But I, I'm going to reference a first aid kit or a sort of emergency medical trauma kit or an emergency medical first aid kit. Something that is lightweight, well, relatively lightweight, super compact and portable. You're going to need a backpack. Like I would say a tactical backpack is awesome, whether you're a tactical person or not because it's gonna have some sort of modular system. It's gonna be designed and built in a way that can carry your laptop and your books and your pens and your pencils and all of that. But it can also carry more like an extra shirt, a pair, extra pair of socks, maybe even an extra pair of shoes. Uh, all things that are like could be critical if you're in the outdoors, if you're in the wilderness maybe, but not even that, if you're just outdoors and you're on a trail or you're hiking, like extra things like that could can potentially save your life and you need a bag that's good enough to hold it big enough to hold it strong enough to to carry it and get like beaten around with it so let's lay out for tactical gear for outdoor activities that for like yes uh, for, a, for a regular civilian would be a, a, a good quality tactical sort of three-day assault 45 liter backpack and a first aid emer emergency first aid medical kit or a trauma kit like the trauma kit tends to have everything that the medical kit has anyway but it usually will, it will usually have like a tourniquet a chest seal uh burn dressing and just touch the few extra things that could really save your life um so i'd always say go with the trauma kit we sell we have both we sell both but i kind of always push people when we're at the gun shows and we're talking to people look go with the trauma kit like just in case hopefully you never have to use all that stuff but you would want it anyway so um go with it for for the for the extra little bit of money that it costs you just may as well go with it so we got the backpack we got first aid emergency trauma kit or a first aid kit and then if you are with a pup you know tactical dog vest is always helpful and uh, that sort of there's obviously there's a there's a whole bunch of products that are super amazing for 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 hiking camping walking on trails that are tactically inclined but not everyone's got the money to buy it all. So I would I would just make sure that get a gun. I know that's going to turn a lot of people off, but get a gun, get a good gun belt to go with it, get a tactical backpack, and get yourself a first aid kit or an emergency trauma kit, and you are set with a few pieces of tactical gear, and it'll be extremely helpful in just a regular, regular civilian setting, whether you are looking for more personal protection or you're outdoors doing some outdoor activity that's all from me today we'll touch on more products tons more products and situations for using it um, t situations for using tactical gear in a civilian setting and for your civilian lifestyle we'll talk way more in the future about other products and other situations but that's all from me today because i don't want to make this too long it's already nine minutes so let's keep it short have a great day hope you got a little bit of value out of this and i'll see you next time on episode 101. Peace.